looting, always tracking. This is next weather. All right, I don't know about you, but little mm. by little, we're starting to feel that heat again. Yes, we heat are. And humidity too, Ivan. What's yes, going on? Yes, little by little, and um, you know, a little bigger this weekend. It's <laughs> going to be in the 90s, and yeah, it's going to feel like uh, it's in the triple digits here. But that's all right. You know, we'll take it. It's a wet season. Uh, we'll have a few more showers and thunderstorms, but nothing yet to cancel plans. Over a gorgeous shot uh, over my shoulder here as uh, we have enjoyed the low humidity so far this week. 92 was a high temperature today. The normal high is 90, but nowhere near the rankers, and we've been doing that all summer. So that. That has been uh, quite a relief. No rain for uh, today. Showers and thunderstorms uh, over on the western side of the uh, peninsula because that's where the breeze has been pushing everything east to west. But as far as where the real wet season is, I'll take you a little further to the north. It's not too far away. Look at all the thunderstorm activity. This is what we're used to this time of year. Now, this is a boundary here that's going to weaken as it approaches us, so it's not going to impact our weather. But the humidity, the moisture will start pulling up out ahead of a trough that's going to set up across eastern U.S., and that is going to be enough with our sea breezes and the heating of the day to start uh, cooking some storms here through the afternoon. The humidity has still been OK, not completely you know, at hand, but it is going to start climbing here. You're just going to start noticing that, particularly through the uh, afternoons before we get into our afternoon showers and storms. The coverage is not going to be you know, completely you know, 50, 60, 70 percent or anything like that, about 30 to 40. But we will have a few neighborhoods here that will get in on some showers and storms, and uh, the coverage will continue about that range as we head into the early part of next week. And by the way, early next week, this is what we'll also be watching here. Not for any direct impacts as we've been talking about here, but the rip current threat is certainly going to go high as Lee continues to churn and uh, do its thing out over the open water, really not bothering anyone as far as any direct land impacts as we see it right now. On your rain tracker for the rest of the evening, you're looking good. Uh, we are not going to be looking at anything as far as uh, thunderstorms or even showers for tonight. But then for tomorrow, watch Saturday 1 o'clock right along the breeze there, some showers and storms. And with a weaker easterly wind flow, that will tend to allow for some of the showers and storms to migrate back towards the coast. So we'll watch for that and we'll kind of do a repeat on Sunday, just a little less coverage, I think. So all in all, uh, not a bad weekend uh, setting up coming up for the next uh, couple of days. In the tropics, we have two systems. Margo out in the eastern Atlantic. We won't worry about that headed north. And then Lee has, uh, you know, diminished in intensity a little bit, not looking as symmetrical, not looking as well organized here, but still a formidable storm that will continue to kind of go through its cycles here and pulse up and pulse down. And as I've been mentioning, not a worry for us. A little wind shear there has been impacting the southwestern side of the circulation, so that's why the pressure has gone up a little bit, but Notice the cone moving it up towards the north, and that is excellent news there from the National Hurricane Center on board with the models that we've been talking about all week here at CBS News Miami. This is going to continue to make that sharp turn to the right. You know, it still depends on you know how early it'll do that, but um, we are still going to be well into the clear. By the way, uh, back in the you know the last few years, and in fact going all the way back uh, several decades, when you have a Category Four or Five storm in the early part of September, these have been the tracks here. None essentially have hit the United States. We look Look at these. We learned from history some analog years. We call them there. Uh, so it looks like Lee is going to follow uh, in pursuit of that, uh, those tracks that uh, we have been uh, showing the last couple of days. The peak of the hurricane season is coming up in just a couple of days, and then we take a nice dive down to the south. But until it's over, it's not over, right? Rip currents for you low if you're going to be heading out to the beach uh, for tomorrow. Easterly winds 5 to 10, and your forecast for the weekend will feature showers and a few thunderstorms. But coverage again not at hand. That uh, we can handle that, and that continues into early next week. And yeah, warmer temperatures back in the 90s.